So ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. This is a Forex Quick Look. I'm going to take a look at the dollar versus Swiss. Recall from yesterday, uh, I spoke to the uh, inability to uh, really pay attention to the 100 and 200 hour moving averages uh, during trading yesterday. But, but uh, at the low prices yesterday, the price uh, did fall on this hourly chart into this uh, swing area. The swing area was defined. Now we go all the way back to uh, this area right through here where we had different uh, swing lows and swing highs. And that uh, continued through this area through here where, again, we had some swing lows. Oh, we broke below it here and failed. Uh, uh, it was breaking below the 200 hour moving at the same time, but uh, then reestablished uh, support here. We fell below it, below it again here, moving to uh, new lows. Uh, also near the 50% retracement of the uh, move up from uh, the uh, May low at that level uh, was uh, tested here and then rotated back to the upside. And again, yesterday we came back down into that area. Uh, and in trading today, what do we do? We fell below that area. Uh, and uh, we saw the uh, momentum continue to the downside in the early New York session here on uh, the really dollar weakness across the board. What uh, was a prelude to that move to the downside and kind of gave the uh, go ahead for traders was the inability to uh, move back above the 200 hour moving average. So yesterday we did see the price uh, ignore these moving averages, but uh, toward the end of the day, the market came up to that 200 hour moving average found sellers. And in the Asian slash early European session, late Asian early early European session, the price came up to the 200 hour moving average, found sellers leaning against that level. That gave the go ahead to push uh, to the downside. We moved below the 100 hour moving average, and you can see we held the resistance against that on this uh, these two hourly bars before moving below this uh, swing area and uh, starting its uh, further run to the downside. Now what? Uh, well, uh, if we uh, go to the four hour chart I'm going to switch to the four hour chart and uh, what, what we uh, see here I'm going to zoom out zoom, make, uh, zoom out a little bit but uh, if we uh, take a look at the, this uh, swing area through here uh, we have a, a number of different uh, swing lows and swing highs uh, that uh, showed up in this uh, area between the one 0 0.8969 and 0 0.89769 area uh, continued outline here while I speak uh, but all those uh, levels uh, formed uh, uh, a, uh, a swing area that the market uh, came down to uh, in trading uh, last week uh, and also near the uh, 200 bar moving average on the four hour chart not once but twice uh, found support buyers against that level before moving to the upside and trading here today what do we do we broke below the uh, 200 bar moving average on the four hour chart and then held that level at 0 0.8996 just below the 90 level as well nice little round natural level and the market started to rotate back to the downside of the last uh, four-hour uh, bar on this four-hour chart. And you can see we're into this uh, swing area between 0 0.8969 and 0 0.8976. If the price were to move below that level, we, we should see a rotation uh, back down toward the 61.8% retracement the move up from this low right here, which is the May low to the May high. That level comes in at 0 0.8944. Also near this area is this uh, these uh, swing lows and uh, swing highs, I guess, uh, through here where the uh, market did find uh, re either resistance or support before um, moving to the upside through here. So um, sellers are in control, fell below some uh, key technical levels, held some key technical levels uh, on, on uh, rotations to the upside earlier today. Uh, uh, the downside is a, is a play for the uh, dollar versus Swiss. We'll see if that continues. My name is Greg McCloskey. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.